what, 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 what? Campaign! Two new chapters in the campaign, baby! Yatta! Yatta, 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 yatta! Actually, I really need to... Oh, shit, dude! Hello! Clash! Okay, no, I'm good. Nya -nya. Hidden reward. The four of us met for the first time today. It feels like we can do anything. We are heretics, those who make Nikkei trembles with fear. I would know when I myself was a Nikkei, I would tremble upon hearing the word heretic. Now when there being four of us, with there being four of us, the question is not what we can do, but what we can't, what can't we do? So what shall we try first? I'm so thrilled, I can't sleep. Okay. Well, let's go and fight some nerds. Yeah, I'll use this team, we should be good. Ah, more! Red Hood so pierced all the time. How is this not hitting her? Come on. Alright, the animation is annoying. Off. Off with you. Yes! Alright, so far we can make some progress, which is good. Very, very good. No, oh, she's so cute, dude. Love her. Love her. Somebody talk. Leave me alone. Hi, you. Encanta. Ooh, get him. Explosion. I got him. Huge! Patty, Konyaja! Are you kidding me? Fuck off! Leave me alone! Sensei? What is this? Okay. Hello, my good sir. Ah, ma! What did you do today apart from Stream K, by the way? How was Sonic, too? How was Sonic? Did you like Sonic? Did you have a good time with Sonic? I'm praying for the Ruins Crown skin. It looks so cool. Uh, Maybe one day. I don't know if skins even rerun, to be honest. Like, I think th this is supposed to be like a gacha skin shop. No, there's a skin shop, but like nothing has been added there in forever. So who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. That would be cool. Maybe for the fifth anniversary? True. Very, very nice. So far, so good. We are making some nice progress. It's gonna ping me for every single pack that the shop has. That's crazy. There we go. 
There we go. Wahoo! All right, give me that good, good story. Come on. <sighs> New commander, special recruitment, indubitably. All right, hi. Story time, baby! Reclamation site 01. According to the central government, the eradication of Crystal Region is proceeding as planned, but it is not a high priority. This operation is to prioritize the extermination of captures of heretics above all else. In short, that's the case. I think that's how it feel. They would feel. They want us to take out Behemoth? And it's clean that Cinderella. I don't think that will be a problem. Did they not say anything about Cinderella? That's currently considered top secret information. Um, what with all the recent incidents, if it were to come to light that we had joined forces with the heretic, the Ark would be in an uproar. I, as well as Mana, are doing our utmost to keep this on the wraps. Even within the central government itself, only a select few are aware of Cinderella. Proceed with the assumption that only Deputy Chief Anderson knows. How about Deputy Chief Burningham? We are taking special care to ensure he remains in the dark. If he were to find out about this, he would send troops over here in an instant. Okay, thanks. Right, if people in the if people in the Ark found out Cinderella is awakened, it'd be pandemonium. I just glanced at Cinderella again. Why do you keep sneaking glances at me? Ah, nothing. If you're going to eyeball me, at least get a decent look. My beauty should be appreciated properly. I'm not sure if she and I are going to get along. If all we have to do is take down Behemoth, we'll be fine. If I were on my own, I'd be more hesitant. But together with Grave and you guys, it's very much possible. As long as my prince is with me, I can't imagine a scenario where we don't emerge victorious. Cinderella smiles at me. Uh, oh god, the jealousy is here. However, there's no guarantee Behemoth is the only heretic we'll be facing. For a beast, as the name implies, there's bound to be four of them. Worst comes to worst, we might find ourselves up against four heretics at once. However, if four heretics were to engage us in battle, that would mean four warriors of my caliber would be needed to rise up and fight them. It's a bit overwhelming. Can you imagine the sheer loveliness of four of me? So distracted would we be by such rapturous beauty, it would almost certainly affect our chances of winning. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> okay, now I'm seriously doubting my ability to get along with this lady. She's right. That's why a preemptive strike is our best course of action. Yeah, especially since we're on Behemoth's home turf. The fact she can command the crystals makes her formidable on her own. If she calls in for reinforcement on top of that, then we'll have a real problem on our hands. So we should hit them fast and hit them hard before they even t have time to prepare. We may not have absolute, but we do have an ancient heretic on our side. The odds are in our favor. Excuse me, but I object to the term ancient. Oh, sorry. It makes me sound old. I prefer the word legendary. Okay, now I'm sure of it. You and I are definitely not going to get along. We move out as soon as we finish preparing. Is that okay with you, Commander? His name is Prince. No, I call him Commander. So confrontational, Rappy. That's not like you. Personally, I wouldn't object to you moving out right now. However, if we're going to go through this, it would be a good idea to prepare a bit more. What's the latest on Absolute and Grave? Absolute will rejoin us after maintenance. Wow! If they're jumping back into the mix that quickly, they must be really peeved. There's more to it than that. I think they're trying to tell me something. They're not going to wait for me anymore. Hmm? Grave also said she'd be rejoining us after her repairs. She definitely looked like she needed a tune-up. Apparently she's a mass-produced model. Impressive. It's more than impressive, it's... Hmm. Hmm, interesting. What? What's wrong? I can't find a word to please describe Grave's greatness. I don't think one exists. Uh, let's go. Roger. Also, Mana and I have to get ready for the eradication of Crystal Region, so we'll have to take a step back from the other's part of the, of the operation. You'll be focusing on destroying Crystal Region. Yes, your target is the Heretic, while well, our target is the area itself. The crystals are too dangerous, we have to do something about them. We'll take care of all the necessary preparations. I'm sure you'll all be fine. 
You've most likely already memorized all there is to know about that area. However, we won't be able to offer much in the way of support from our side due to the crystals. We can't even use any AI pillars. You've been a great help already. Thank you for saying that. We're leaving this part of the operation in your hands. Yes, understood. Rappi, are you really going to take this thing with you? You mean the box grave was carrying around? It seems like there's some kind of gun inside it. Seven doors. I want you to keep it. You're giving this to me? Yes. I thought you had to return it to Snow White. Cinderella is awake. We have something to do. I wish to meet with the goddesses, but this is more important right now. You all have dealings with the goddess squad. Please deliver it for me. But isn't this your primary weapon? I only bored it. I simply did my best not to break it. I seem to recall you swinging it around and smashing it an awful lot. That couldn't be helped. <laughs> your Red Hood successor. No, you're connected to the Goddess Squad. It is fitting for you to deliver this. Okay, fine. Them. I'll take it, since it's precious. Although I'm not sure if it really suits me. Commander, we've transformed the structure made from the A pillars and created the path across the crystal region. It should allow you to get in and out more quickly. You can do that. Of course, this is what these structures were originally intended for. It's simply a matter of inputting certain sets of data to initiate the transformation. Of course, if B must cover it with crystal, this will be the end of that. But until then, they should prove useful. Alright, I'm going to head back for repairs. How nice! She came all the way out here to explain things to us. Mana is helping with Grey's repairs, right? Yeah, she said she couldn't handle the basics. She'll be sending Grave back our way as soon as possible. Good. Now let's get let's go take down Behemoth. Indeed. Them intense. Oh, that's new. Orbs. Oh, they fly around so much. That's crazy. What are they doing? Litter, don't die. Litter took so much damage from this shit. First, I was afraid. I was terrified. Kept thinking to my butter, 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 butter. Stop it! The Zorbs are so annoying, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, focus the buzz down. Let's go. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Give me some of that. Bears. Um. Let's go! Frick him up! Frick him up! Come on! My girls, you can do it! I believe in you! The Shikikan believes in you, girls! She believes in you, girls! Let's go! Sorry. 
Uh, give me a second. All right, good shit. Sorry about that. Uh, let me see. We're back in business, baby. We got more raptures to take out. We're gonna get a, a little bit of a story part afterward, which is good time. I'll try to see if we can do the entire chapter today. And tomorrow I'll probably do um, during the stream. I'll probably do uh, a little bit of the uh, the same part because like the reset is gonna be like in three hours, two hours, two hours and a half. That's in a long time. I don't want to play uh, Nikkei for two more hours and a half, considering I also have to do the new uh, Brandus two character pack. Let's see story time. Yes, sir. While we're on the move, Anis pulls me aside. Commander, could we talk to you privately for a moment? With that, Cinderella. What is it? Your blood. Does it contain vampires? What? Um. I'll take that as a yes. I saw vampires bullets when we were in Eden, and when you had the hole in your stomach before, you yelled at us to stay away. Then, when you punched Behemoth and your hand was all bloody, she went crazy for a moment. Considering how obvious these signs are, I have to be a real idiot not to figure that your blood contains vapors. I don't know, idiot may be a bit harsh. Anyway, why did you keep it a secret from us? You could have warned us. Told us that if we came into contact with your blood, our entire name would be wiped out. When you were in jail before, what if you'd rushed over and tried to stop the bleeding? Did you think we couldn't keep a secret? That we'd go around blabbing about it? I uh, knew better than anyone that you wouldn't do that. Vapa is a rare commodity. That means a lot of people are after it. If I dragged you all into this, it will only put you in danger. And fighting heretics the definition of safety? I'm sorry. I appreciate you wanting to protect us, but I'm pretty sure we can deal with any situation that come our way. Anything would be better than getting caught up in something when we don't know anything. I can't stand it. I said we create a manual for what to do when Master is injured. Good idea. My name is gone, so I'll be able to stop any bleeding. You won't be able to stop anything if you're unconscious like last time. Neon! Oh, sorry. I'll be as careful as I can. The best solution would be for the commander to not get hurt in the first place. Given your previous track record, however, I think we all know how unlikely that is. Bro, I mean, to be fair, every time there's a big enemy, we get a few holes in our stomach. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better if Neon and I each took a small shot of Vapaos? That's too dangerous. How so? Vapaos, for lack of a better phrasing, makes you immortal. Remember what Exia, Exia told us? Anika's brain is practically immortal thanks to Nymph. Without it, that's no longer the case. I never plan on leaving that long anyway. With Nymph, there's always the option of a memory wipe if you're seriously injured. Afterward, you can have any necessary knowledge injected back into your brain. Corruption can be treated. If you're corrupted and you don't have nymph, you know what happens. You're talking about Marianne. Unless it's an absolute emergency, I want to avoid using vapors. So you can drop the idea of getting injected with it. Okay, understood. But what should we do if Master gets hurt? Alright, if the commander gets seriously hurt and Rappi isn't available, I say we go ahead and treat him. No, full well might be exposed to vapors. Yes, that's too dangerous. It's preferable to standing there and watching you die. That's right. That's too horrible to even consider. Good, then it's decided. If you don't want it to happen, just don't get hurt. Yeah, it's kind of a skill issue, really. But master, we're going to go fight a heretic. But didn't we use up all the vapors bullets? I think we should replenish our inventory. Agreed, I've been trying to contact Cecile, but haven't been able to reach her. That and the fact that they haven't done anything regarding Dorothy tells me something's happening in Eden. It might be a good idea to stop by if we have time. Right, I'm also concerned about Papillon. Beautiful. Resolving internal conflicts amicably and then proceeding to a discussion on the next objective at once. It's beautiful. 
How long have you been listening? How much did you hear? It doesn't matter. I'm not interested in the content. I was more intrigued by the flow of the conversation. I'm so glad that it wrapped up beautifully. I hope the same happens with our pursuits. Them. <coughs> oh. Alright, sorry about that. Oh, I keep sneezing recently, I don't know why. I don't think I caught a cold, but maybe it's just my allergies acting up, to be honest. It's really annoying. Let me take some uh, anti-histaminic or whatever it's called. It's a thing I take for my allergies. It's freaking... it's so annoying. I feel like I'm always sick because of that. Temporary Repair Center at Reclamation Site 01. The repairs are complete. Thank you. Can I ask you something? How do you and Anna, I mean Cinderella, know each other? We've known each other for a long time. We're like family. I see. Can I go now? I have to join them as soon as possible. I can't leave Cinderella alone. Yes, you can go. But I wouldn't recommend it. You won't be much help to them, not with your current specifications. And you already handed over your only weapon to Rappi. It's okay. Being there is enough. I'm content to watch a story unfold. Give me some time. For what? I'll make it so that you're, use of s you're of use to Cinderella. Hmm? I'm gonna steal your pants and you'll be way stronger. Guaranteed. Don't worry about it. In a week you'll see. <laughs> when you're on banner. <laughs> I brought some spare parts with me. That should give you a fairly significant upgrade. There are some other armaments that are still in the testing phase, but I'll fine-tune them before issuing those to you. Will I be stronger? Yes, you will. Will it take long? No, you'll still be able to join them in time. Very well. I'm glad you agree. I do have a suggestion. Yes? The crystal that took glass sleepers. The mirror container? Yes, that one. Can I be outfitted with that? A rapture part? I see. Yes, that would be most effective. I would appreciate it. All right, understood. I have a question. Why are you being so kind to me? You have no reason to be using all these precious parts on me. When I was standing to you in the Harmony Cube, I noticed something unusual about your fingers. They're made of a rather old technology, but they were only given to top-notch technicians. They were meant for work which demands precision. Okay, that guarantees it. She's 100% Abe. That, that 100%, there's no, there's no other way. This is literally, this is proof that she is. My own fingers are from the same series as yours. Oh, is she also an EK? Ooh. Of course, with the passing of time, only trace of the original technology remains. But all of the Nikkei fleet with MMR, where I belong, are fitted with the same part as you. So she is an EK. Ooh. Mana playable in the future, Ayo. I wasn't sure if she was actually. It's nice to know for sure now. I don't know what you did in the past or what kind of Nikkei you were, but one thing is certain you are our predecessor. Considering this a small token of my appreciation for you laying the scientific foundation which has allowed us Nikkeis and humanity to advance to where we are today. It's the least I can do. Are you crying? No, I don't cry anymore. I see. I pretend I didn't see anything. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Okay. Sure. That was kind of cute. I like. Oh, my. That was. I, I'm not crying either, Chad. Don't worry about it. I remember that. Damn. It's in the small things, Chad. It's in the small things. I'm just like, it's all coming together. This is something to each other. I love them. I mean, Grave has technically been like 
walking around and trying to protect Cinderella in a coffin for like a hundred years. That is crazy. Considering she's only a mass-produced Nikkei, it's absolutely bananas. I'm glad to see that I can actually get some uh, good progress here. I was worried that it was going to be a big... Um, another big um, wall in terms of difficulty. All right, next. Fight All right, let's see. Look at my phone. Mm, pressing the button on my phone. Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Where's my enemy? There they are! Where's the boss? There it is! Please die, Mr. Boss. Let's see. Ohayo Okay, got him. Boom, boom, baby. Lovely, 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 lovely. I am not the only second generation Queen's model. There were many others beside me. And the one who created us was Grave. Huh? What? Grave. It was Grave who made us. She's a genius. At the time, we were amongst the most powerful Nikkeis to have been manufactured, and Grave created us all on her own. On top of that, she is beautiful. She is perfection. What happened to her? That's a secret. If I talk about it, I might cry, and so I will refrain from doing so. I will keep it as beautiful memory between Grave and myself. What were you all built for? The Greens model. Isn't that obvious? What else are any case meant to do? Eliminate humanity's enemies and give the world back to humans. That's it. These are such broad sweeping declarations. Yet you make it sound like it's all so easy. What do you mean? Mm, there's no way we can win against these raptors. Oh my goodness, what a horrible sentiment. Then why are you here? Huh? If you're convinced that we'll lose, what are you doing here? Are you simply looking for an ideal place to die? Do you all feel the same way that she does? No, Anis was just joking. I knew it. I knew there was no way any of you would have such terrible thoughts. Not only is it not beautiful, it's almost disgraceful. So not wanting to sacrifice yourself for humanity is disgraceful? That's not quite what I meant. Allow me to elaborate. Risking life without good reason is disgraceful. Because you would be throwing away the most precious thing without purpose. You all are going to face behemoths. So you're putting your lives on the line right now. 
So I'm curious, what is the reason for your doing so? What is it that makes you willing to potentially give your life? What do you strive for? What do you live for? I... I don't know your story, but you must amble through life thirstlessly, merely doing what you're told. That's not story at all. I am my own master. If you have not found a reason, then you must do so quickly. It would be far from beautiful if you were to die before finding one. Hmm. I intended to be motivational, but apparently I had the opposite effects. I'll make it up to you all by fighting extra hard. Damn. Damn. Okay. Well, that was a good time. Happy time for sure. Guess it's all. A hidden reward. It's a song. Okay, so we open the door here. Lovely. Let's see if we can fight those. There's also a glittering thing here and over there as well. Oh, I don't like what it's charging. What's he doing over there? Twenty more seconds. La da 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 da. Pew 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 pew. Got him. Look at this. All right, let me grab this here. Fight this nerd. Ohayo gozaimasu! These missions are so long. Ain't nobody got time for one minute and a half. Come on. Come on. Cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. Clean up the field. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy, which will get us access to another one of those little um, sparkly thing over there. Uh, I don't need to fight those two right now, so I'm gonna ignore them. 
probably do fight those so I can get these. Encounter. 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 But wait, there's more. Damn. Killed my red hood. But that's okay. I killed it back, baby. Easy. Alright, let's see if I need to fight the other one at the bottom. If I can just grab the... Hey, I can ignore it. Insane. Alright. Ooh, I like this. Okay, cool. Hello. Story time. Oh. Tell me the story, baby. Maybe it's after the fight. Bob, Bob. <laughs> Prince, come here and look at this. What is it? It's a crystal, but the surface is reflective like a mirror. Could you stand next to me for a moment? I stand next to Cinderella. In the crystal in front of us, our reflection stands side by side. <laughs> what a beautiful sight. What are you doing? I'm gazing at the beauty of us together. Please, you two don't have any chemistry at all. Besides, stopping for nonsense like this only puts the commander in unnecessary danger. Nothing of the sort will occur because I'm here to protect him. Weren't you asleep for over a century? Why do you talk as if you know everything? Anis, you don't like me, do you? That's not true. You have been attempting to pick a fight with me for a while now. What is it about me that irks you so? If you don't tell me, then I'll never know. I can't stand you prattling on endlessly about beauty and all that nonsense. Does my poor creature displaces you? Yes, it's hard enough to stay alive out here, but who's got time to care about looks? You have no idea how bad things are. Beauty and other such notions are long gone. Banish the realms of meat. We're in a world where those concepts are no longer important, nor should they be. Have I... Have I made you feel poorly about yourself? What? Beauty must have been something that you value above all else. But right now you couldn't be further from it. Hearing someone else talk about something you used to value but were unable to obtain. Does it make you feel bad about yourself? Especially because I, a stranger, embody it so naturally. You've got some nerve talking to me like that. What do you know? Your nails. Your hair. Your skin. Yes, you appreciate beauty and now that you've taken care of yourself. Am I wrong? Yeah, I appreciate it. But it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I've got a bit of a lingering resentment. And I took it on you. Satisfied? Not beautiful. Not one bit. Screw you! You don't know me! There's no time for ridiculous things like that in this world. Not anymore. What's the use in obsessing over beauty with things as they are? I don't see the point in it. I can't understand you. If you don't feel beautiful yourself, you'll never understand me. I didn't always look like this. Before I... But why are you like this now? Why are you no longer trying to become beautiful? Why did you ruin your beauty with your own hands? Do you think this is how I wanted things to go? I... It wasn't me. It was because of others. Such thing can happen. But you can overcome it. Do you ever think about becoming beautiful again? I don't know. That's no answer. You can be beautiful anytime. You must know that. It's the same for everyone. 
Even if you're caked in mud and drenched in blood, your beauty can always shine. If you're approaching with that mindset, if you consciously decide to become beautiful, it will happen immediately. Cinderella glances back and forth between Rappi and Neon and me. So many mirrors. I'm envious. Cinderella turns around and slowly walks off. It's okay, Anis. I think you're beautiful. Even though you've put on a bit of weight recently. I guess now's not the time for jokes. <laughs> no, it's not. Anis. It's okay, I'm fine. Anis walks ahead. <sighs> this reminds me of the old days. Anis slowly looks up at the sky. Up on the surface, it was so nice to just sit and watch the clouds pass by. I don't see what's so nice about it. Damn. Damn, that's rough. Uh, let's see here, another one. Oh, hi -ya! Bonk him on the head. Bonk him, bonk him, bonk him, bonk him, bonk him on the head. 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 Boop, 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 boop. Lovely. Man, this is going very, very well. I can probably clear the chapter. Alright, we have another little uh, treasure here. Another song, lovely. Oh, we do have to fight those guys. The passage is too narrow. It's too narrow! Oh man, tomorrow I have. I forgot, but tomorrow I have uh, an appointment at 2 p.m. Hmm. Alright, we'll see. So at best, I can start the stream at 3 p.m. I need to check out um, how the open beta for um, Monster Hunter Wild is gonna be like. Uh, all right, next part of the story. Let's go. Splash, splish, splosh. Huh? What's wrong? I just stepped in a puddle, but the water is so black. Get away from it. I look at the puddle the neon stepped in. It comprised a jet black viscous liquid. It close. It's close to oil or tar rather than water. Oh, on a holy day. Oh, um, I don't know actually. You're right, it is a holy day. Um, uh, I'll ask her. Well, I sent an email, I guess we'll find out. This is what Behemoth's body was encased in. She called it dark matter. Hmm, this wasn't here when we came before, was it? No, it wasn't. I think we should keep our distance. F1, look at this. The black liquid on Neon's shoe begins to wriggle around. The, glob the, glob the globule moves on its own and eventually disappears back into the puddle. I don't like this, not one bit. Yeah, this is something out of a horror movie. You get close to the puddle, and then a hand pops out and grabs you. You always seem to be really accurate in your predictions, so please stop talking. 
There seems to be more than one of those bottles. I'll check. Sidra floats up in the air. Wow, she can even fly? Anis, how long are you going to keep fighting with Cinderella? What? I'm not doing anything. You were fighting just moments ago. That wasn't a fight. If it was, it was one-sided because you made a fool of me. That's true. You just stood there and took it, trembling in anger. <laughs> Everything she said was 100% correct. What am I doing here? Isn't being with us enough? It's more than enough, Commander. It's just that I don't know what lies ahead for me. I don't either. I thought we were supposed to help Master become the ruler of the Ark. What? What did you... What? <laughs> they all know. That's not what we're doing. So, we have two people that don't know what they're doing in the future. And we have none who's just completely wrong about it. <laughs> Man. That's true. Is it? Is that what we're doing? I'm pretty sure that's not what we're doing. Not quite. Thank you. Okay, thank God. At least the one that's smart is not saying that this is what they're doing. I was gonna lose my mind. I was like, wait, really? Is that what we're doing? Come on, surely not. And lo and behold, it was not. Yada! It's getting absolutely trolled. But what should I do going up? What should I do going forward? What the squad hopes to achieve and what you hope to achieve don't have to be the same thing. Hmm, I don't get it. I don't quite follow either, to be honest. Heck, I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Cinderella lands back on the ground. Well? There's a problem. What is it? First off, there are many of those black puddles in the area. We should be able to avoid them, but we'll have to move carefully. Also, I saw someone in one of the puddles. Come again? Let's go check. N no, wait! Who or what was it? Someone I don't know. I figured that much. It'd be pretty weird if you did know them. Cinderella. The person you saw was the girl with the childlike face. With big piercing eyes. Yes, that's right. How did you know? She's right over there. All of us turn in the direction that Rappi is pointing. And in the black puddle have so That has to be Leviathan. Oh, she's so cute! She's adorable! She actually reminds me of uh, Mobius. A girl looks directly at us. <laughs> what is that thing? A water ghost! Firepower! Firepower has always been effective at exorcising demon spirits! Get a hold of yourself, that's no ghost. Or at least I don't think so. So, you're the ones who gave me him at such a hard time. Glass sleepers, full contact. Fire. Several beams of blue light come out of Cinderella's glass sleepers and search toward the back puddle. The mysterious figure fully submerged itself under the puddle's surface, which seems to absorb and dissipate the light beam. The puddle begins to bubble and boil. The girl shows her face again. D did you see that? The attack didn't do anything! It's a ghost! I saw it too! Relax, she just went inside the puddle and came back out. That's it. That's probably it. <laughs> Attacking me when we haven't been properly introduced. You, you behemoth's comrade, are you not? Yes, I am Leviathan. There it is. Are you the also majestic Anakira that behemoth has been talking about? Not anymore. Well, you seem to be. I think I'll take that body of yours. The black puddle that Leviathan was in begins to expand. Almost instantly, the surrounding area is engulfed in darkness. Everyone pull back. Don't let it touch you. The black pearl continues to rapidly expand as we turn to flee from the approaching darkness. A crystal wall appears in front of us. Hey now. Oh, Behemoth is so cool. Where are you rushing off to? Behemoth. Everyone, out of the way. I'll break the crystal. Now, now, not you go disrupting this carefully planned ambush of ours. Behemoth's pincer seizes Cinderella's glass slippers. That should disable them nicely. Aim for our abdomen. <laughs> Take this, you mother! <laughs> Rappi, Alice, and Neon open fire, but Behemoth absorb every single bullet without flinching. Damn! Huh? Th the puddle is getting closer! <gasps> oh, as Rappi's hair begins to turn red, the crystal which is blocking our path shatters. What? She's here. 
A naked charge through the flurry of flying crystalline fragments. <gasps> Grave is here! What a queen! Ah, oh, look at them abs! <laughs> Alright. Her face is half covered with a cracked helmet and she carries a massive coffin. Grave? Don't touch Cinderella. Oh, my girl! My girl! She's so cool. Get up! Stop flying around! I hate you guys! Okay, there we go. <gasps> I got killed. Oh, that's not good. That's a pain in the butt! Okay. Alright, problem fix. Good shit! Yep, I, I do have my uh, appointment tomorrow, regardless of it being a holiday or not. Right as a razor, ready. The weapon grave is holding wars to life. Blood it all out. Damn! A massive fusillade of fusillade. A light beam slam into behemoth relentlessly, and she staggers backwards. Who the hell are you? Stop talking. Am I such a grand entrance? Not as grand as mine. Well, good for you. So beautiful. <laughs> Look at yourself, Behemoth. You can't even move. It's not that. It's round pack of mean punch at all. Oh boy, I should film this. This is too funny. Go right ahead, because I'm about to pull out a real showstopper. A multitude of crystal race along the ground towards Grave. Grave, move! With a remarkable calm, Grave nudged ever so slightly to the side. Taking measures half steps. A slight twist of the waist, a tilt of the head. None of crystals so much as graze her. What the? Those are no use anymore. This is impossible! Another strand of crystals races along the ground. And Grave once again evades them with the same subtle movements. All the while, she continues to fire at Behemoth. Levy, did you see that? She dodged every last one. How did she do that? She's amazing. Stop complimenting her, you idiot. Hurry up and finish her off. Oh, she has a tongue tattoo. Uh, tattoo, sorry. She has a tongue. Um, she has a tongue. Um, a tongue piercing. That's cool. I don't know what's happening with the finger, but I'm not a big fan of this. I think it's the the angle is kind of weird. Her thumb is looking like super big compared to the rest. Okay. I'll take that back. Thank you very much. Huh? Cinderella's glass slippers broke free from Behemoth's pincer. And now, Kiro, your strength is impressive. It's not just strength. Blue light beams extend from glass slippers and rain down on Behemoth. What are you doing? Get out of there! I can't, there are too many of them. And the shots from the lady with the coffee are brutal. Good grief! Uh, amazing, the sink of moving inch with Grave and Cinderella working together. Everyone, the water puddle is expanding faster! Let's get out of here. We don't know what will happen if he touches us. Okay! It is kind of tempting though. Don't you want to dive in just once? Save it for the next life! Rappi stands still and looks back and forth between Behemoth and Leviathan. The black pearl is rapidly approaching her feet. I, Rappi, get back! Rappi deftly dodges the black puddle. Superhuman, take this stake and drive it into the ground. Alright? I take the large stake that Grave is holding and plunge it into the ground. A barrage of crystals crash down on Behemoth. What? That's supposed to be mine! Serves you right? Huh? How come you're talking different all of a sudden? 
Run, superhuman. I turn and start running. Flash! A bright light erupts from behind. Ugh. No, I was filming! Was it a flashbang? Oh, we escaped. Amazing. Beautifully done, Grave. Yes. Yo! The queens are back, baby! You love to see it. I need to see the rest of this. I need to go see the rest of the story. That's for the kitty. Tomorrow we'll be meeting the other group. Their name are totally bizarre and tough to memorize. Nihilistia, Liberalio, and Indivilia. Not very stylish, if you ask me. Not that I'll ever see, uh, say that to their faces. Anyway, now that we're all gonna be one big happy heretic family, I hope we'll be able to learn a lot from each other. I'm so excited. I can't sleep. Okay. Ah, ma! Man, Lily is so cute when she's sleeping in the bed. On the bed, I just want to go and sleep with her. Like, as in actual sleeping, obviously, come on. I would just want to lay down next to her and be like, Okay, it's time to go potato now. Oh, got him. Oh, by the way, guys, happy Halloween. I kind of forgot about that. Happy Halloween to you, chat. Oh, yeah, good shit. Is anyone of you celebrating or doing anything special for that? It's got a good times. I mean, I'm not super into Halloween, but I did get a pack of candy, so I've got some candy for me. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I see horses. Fuck you, see horses. Nobody likes you. Alright, good stuff. Freak him up. Lovely. Next. I don't know where my old teacher is. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's see here. They should do. Thank you, Grave. Sure. You're even more beautiful than when I last saw you. Mana helped me. She gave me new parts and a new weapon. She also modified my helmet. I don't feel as constrained anymore. You should show more of your face. It's gorgeous. Not yet. I'm not confident. Okay. What's that on your back? A harmony cube shard. From the mirror container. A secret weapon. Wah! How are you able to so deftly dodge those crystals? A new ability. Beautiful. How come you brought the coffin though? I'm doing fine. I don't intend to have to lie in that again. I know. Still, I'm worried. Alright, if that's how you feel. It is. So, Behemoth called in for backup. Yeah! What was the name again? Leviathan? This isn't good. I didn't expect she'd be calling for help so soon. And what's up with the black puddle? You all rushed in. Too impulsive. How were we supposed to know she'd be calling for help so soon? This is the first I've seen of heretics forming an alliance. There was the one time with Nihilista and Divilla teamed up in the Ark. But that was felt incidental. Certainly not pre-planned. They'd turn on each other the first chance they got. But Behemoth and Leviathan intentionally teamed up. This is bad. Even with Cinderella and the new and improved grave, that looked like a tough fight. Is that what you think? I disagree. Okay, fine. I wasn't going to say anything. But you were completely sidelined when Behemoth had the glass sleepers in her clutches. She caught me off guard. And if she does it again, what are you going to do? It won't happen again. That's right. I'm with them. We can win this. We have to win this. I get that you're all capable of fighters and it's good that you're as confident in yourselves. But we don't even know what Leviathan is capable of. 
We're also clear as to what happens if you fall into the black goo. Just don't fall in. I mean, true. Enjoy the food, Kate. Take care. Precisely. Right. That's not an answer. We got here in a hurry. Because we assumed Behemoth was worn out and wouldn't call in for reinforcement. And we were completely wrong. Behemoth looks absolutely fine. And she did call in one of her buddies. In other words, they were ready for us. We need some reinforcement of our own. I'd say we need to double our numbers in order to have a fighting chance. For now, let's pull back. We'll amass our forces and then... No, we can't. This is our chance. Hmm? Hmm? We have two heretics in the same space. We can't let the golden opportunity like this slip through our fingers. What opportunity? The opportunity to take down two heretics at once. Uh, sorry to say this, Rappi, but even though I know we're bona fide heretic killers, don't you think taking on two at once is a bit much for us in our current state? We had a hard time going up against Behemoth on our own, and now she's called up a friend. I'm not saying that we shouldn't throw in, that we should throw in the towel, but since they're willing to play dirty, maybe we should sit back and strategize first. No, we're fine as is. Rappi, are you okay? What? You'd usually be the first one to shoot down a plan this impetuous. But now you're practically champing at the beats to fight. I told you, I want to see Behemoth up on the surface. That's all. So, what's going on with the sudden change in you? I understand why Cinderella and Grave are behaving this way, but not you. Are you upset at her beating you before? Yes, I'm upset. No, not upset. It's just not right. Commander, you've got to do something about Rappi. She's acting weird. Rappi, I know you're zeal, but right now we... Hmm? Our surroundings suddenly go dark. Blackness envelops everything. We can't see anything. Suddenly it feels as if I'm floating, and at the same time like a massive weight is pressing down on me. I can hardly breathe. Could it be? The black goo? Wow, you're still alive. There's something special about you after all. Behemoth wasn't exaggerating. I try to speak, but nothing comes out. I can't breathe. Ah, uh, right, I suppose you have to breathe. Fine, I'll get you out. Don't want you dying on me. I took a deep breath and regurgitate the liquid that I swallowed. Something thick and cerulean colored oozes out of my mouth. I feel awful. I catch my breath and look about. Look up, sorry. Hello there. Well then. As per Behemoth's request, why don't we have a conversation? I really like uh, Leviathan. I think she looks cool and she really reminds me of um, Mobius. How are you doing, Blackishy Star? Alright, so I guess we got kidnapped. You're doing good? Hell yeah! Fluffy tail power! Let's go! How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. I'm just chilling like a villain. Get up! There we go, there we go. Three more seconds. And we're good. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't have a choice here. Alright, fine. 
I'll beat you up, nerd. Come on. Alright, a minute and 30 seconds to survive. Easy. Probably, hopefully. I shouldn't say easy. If I lose, I'll look stupid. Well, to be fair, I always look stupid, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. This guy. Whoop. Big sniper laser! Sniper laser! Uh, but yeah, I've been pretty good. I had uh, a nice evening yesterday, a bit of anime, good time just chilling. And today has been pretty good too. I managed to buy some groceries that I needed to, and now I'm just relaxing. Been playing the new uh, second anniversary of Nikkei uh, so far. It's been really fun. Been loving it. And after that, uh, there's the new update on Brandos 2, so I'll probably play that a little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I will. All right, that works. All right, what do we have here? Uh, the music, lovely. All right, first of all, there is this to activate for the door here. I'm gonna fight this guy so I can grab the little, uh, the little shiny beats. The shiny beady. Lovely, easy peasy. That was nice. Nice and fast. Quite breezy, if I do say so myself, too. Oh, where's the little treasure here we found? Guess it's so. A bit of credits. Not very uh, necessary. But I'll take it nonetheless. Another fight. Probably a normal one here. Yes, sir. All right, get them all. We are... Man, I'm plowing through this chapter. Oh! Okay. Let's fight this guy. Story time! Or maybe after the fight. Depends. After the fight. There it is.
That's not good. There we go. That was annoying. Those balls suck. Alright, what do we have here? So you can transport others from pedal to pedal. In this room to yourself. Yeah. I opened up a waterway on the ground. If I had left you there for much longer, you would have perished. Most likely, I presume I would have drowned. That may be true. But usually humans expire instantly from the pressure alone. They die from being crushed and from drowning. Yet here you are. I told you, he's a fascinating specimen. Hmm. The Vison moves the large stakes on either side of her and pokes at the liquid that just spat out. She moves her face close to the stake and stares at it instantly. Ugh, gross. What are you doing? Why are you staring at someone's vomit? Disgusting. Ew, it's dripping everywhere. If any of that dribbles on you, you better stay away from me. Or at least take a shower, or two, or three, before you even think about talking to me. Be quiet, I'm looking! Looking at what? What's so fascinating about someone's junk? You wanna look at mine too? Bleh! Who just sees that infernal racket? What the? Did you really just do what I think you did? I was only going to imitate the sound, but then I got carried away. How revolting! Hey, come on, how come you're treating these like gold, but not like garbage? Don't come near me! Don't worry, I won't. You think I don't find this abhorrent as well? Also, how long are you gonna stare at that stuff? Sorry to interrupt you, a comedy routine. Can you tell me why you dragged me here? Your body contains vapors. Does it not? Vapis? What's that? <laughs> You're a terrible actor. Behemoth, make him bleed a little. Don't let the blood touch you, though. Want me to cut his leg off? No, I said just make him bleed a little. Alright, alright. I was only kidding, jeez. Wait! Behemoth's pincer darts forward and scratches the back of my hand. The precision which she strikes with is incredible. I barely even felt the cut. Slowly, blood pools on the back of my hand and several drops fall to the ground. In fact, I'm getting tetanus because, tetanus. Uh, because of this, you and I are going to have words. What are you talking about? I always keep my pincer spotless. Oh, they're so clean, you could eat all of them. The veteran flicks a wrist and a black droplet lands onto my blood on the ground. The droplet quickly turns navy blue and spreads widely across the floor, seemingly losing its initial viscosity. I was right. That just eliminated nanomachines. It's vapors. An incredibly strong concentration of it, that that. That would explain why you were able to neutralize dark matter. And why you were able to survive the Black Sea. Conversation is the cornerstone of evolution, you know. Hmm. This is the first time your words have had any persuasive power. Congratulations. You see? Who knows what else could have been hiding in all those people we've killed. Talking helps us gain information. And we can pick up a few new skills along the way. You only want to converse with others because you're lonely. Don't forget the situation that we're in. If we were caught in the midst of one of these conversations, what would happen? Oh, perhaps we're being rude, talking amongst ourselves too much while we're having a guest. It's interesting that, like, all four of them seems to be very much, um, have, like, much, like uh, construction tools, essentially, right? Like, the other one has a drill. Like, no, she has a clamp. This one has, like, drills, whatever it's called. You certainly are. I was about to get upset. Hmm. A male carrier of a palace. This is exceptionally rare. You're coming with us. First Chatterbox, now you. Apparently I'm quite popular with raptors. Who? Do you not know Chatterbox? How do you know Chatterbox? I guess you're familiar with him. What are you two hoping to achieve there? Here. I'm not at all liberty to say. And you? We intend to take you down. The surface belongs to us. Why now? You've already left it vacant for over a century. It doesn't matter how much time has passed, it doesn't change the fact that it's ours. Get a lot of this guy, your audacity is quite amusing. Should I take a guess at what you're trying to do? <laughs> sure. These gears are being used to absorb electricity from ruptures and nickers. Using that electricity to activate the harmony cube and build another arc. That is what you're doing, isn't it? 
Who are you? You and your kind seems to have a keen interest in building an ark. Just like Material H, or in Divilia, rather. Why are you so hell-bent on this? Uh, this isn't exactly the kind of conversation I was hoping for. Is it that you want to replace humans entirely? <laughs> Behemoth! Kill him! Huh? Why? It unnerves me. Kill him. Isn't it true to kill someone in the middle of a conversation? Who cares about manners? He's no ordinary human. He knows about Chatterbox and Devilia, and even about the Harmony Cube. You think this guy got lost and wandered here by accident? He clearly is some kind of hotshot and knows what he's doing. If any of this information gets out... Relax, you're scaring me. I've got them doubting themselves. They try to keep up calm and cool and collected front. But my mentioning Chatterbox and Devilia has threw them for a loop. They've got the guards up, and they're concerned about sleeping up somehow. They're showing fear now. Can I push it? I don't see what's so scary about heretics. <laughs> what? Nihilist, Liberalio, and Devilia. We went up against... Up, we went up against all of them and lived to tell the tale. Heck, we even won in some cases. Don't be absurd! How could someone like you... Have you forgotten about my blood? I was born to kill heretics. Why are you so scared? Aren't you guys all the same on, on the same side? You really started to piss me off. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Interesting my foot. Kill him already. Can't you feel it? Continuing this conversation would take us to the next level. The next level? Sex? 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 With two G and an S? Yo, I gotta know what's happening afterward. No, I don't want to fight those guys. Can I? Oh, there's no way. We can't. Yeah, we gotta kill them. There's a shiny beats on the other side here. And I want to take it. I want to take it for myself. I want to go num num. I also need to drink water. Water is good. I mean, it's so good. If, if water ever wants to sponsor me, I'll take the deal. Don't worry about it. Let's see here. Mm. Lovely. But it's something strange. It's a little food. Oh, you got a cold. Yes, pasta. All right, what do we have? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme more of the story. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme more of the story. All right, what is that? Another song. We have another shiny beat here. Another song. We have another shiny beat here. First a fight. Wait. But something strange. In the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Nya -nya. Okay, very, very good though. Very, very, very good. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I like the song. I mean, I wouldn't listen to it daily, but I do like it. Um, Yeah, there's a wall here, so we need to go down. Yeah, over there. And there's a shiny here too. But first, there's a shiny here. A friend of mine got badly hurt, so we did was go over to say hello and we ended up getting beat up as a result. They called us defective products, said we were fakes. The other two didn't say anything in our defense. I didn't speak up either. My friend cried, but the pain wasn't physical. I'm so angry I can't sleep. 
So I feel like the four, the four of them, whatever the the beasts or whatever it's called, they might be. They're not my. They might not be allies of the of the other heretics. Unlock from burger. You had a burger. Oh damn! Making me jelly. Making me jelly, baby. Jelly belly beans. How was your burger? Like you did with the pizza. I was just proving that I had my pizza with mushrooms. How was the egg? It was okay. I would not always. Oh, it was pretty good. You want to try it now? Yeah, I should. I'm I'm surprised you never had any. That like, this is like a a pizza type that's literally called a the royal. I almost always have an egg on it. And the queen is the version without the egg. You have different kind of egg pizza here. Fair enough. And how you proposing we tell this human everything? Yeah. Have you lost your mind? I don't see what the big deal is. We don't stand to lose anything by telling him. What if he goes off and tells other people? Who cares if he does? You've completely lost it. How long are you going to wait? It's high time we act. What are you talking about? We have no idea what could happen. Yes, you do. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. I can be scared. I can be scarily accurate sometimes. There's no way we can lose to the offsprings now. We won't suffer the way we did before. My eyes are starting to sting. If we, if I've learned anything from going up against these guys in Anakiro, it's that we're stronger than ever. I know you feel the same way. <laughs> You're scared because you can't quantify it, but you feel it too. We can't keep isolating ourselves like this. That's no longer an option. We have to start moving. Good, I'll take your silence as agreement. Just as you said, human, we aim to build an arc of our own. One drastically different from yours. While we're not sure what, what exactly form it will assume, it's safe to say it will contain various types of, of infrastructure. That's beyond our capabilities at the moment, so we're simply constructing the shell. It's more of a symbolic gesture than anything. The arc is an emblem of rapid progress, after all. And once you've built this shell, what are you planning on doing then? We're going to make a secret weapon. One that will deal a crushing blow to our enemies. What kind of secret weapon? Why won't I tell you? Why would I tell you? The entire point of secret weapon is a secret. When you say your enemies, are you referring to the to other heretics? Yes, but not the four beasts. I'm talking about Nihilister, Liberalio, and Endivilia. The ones who denigrated us, kept us under the boot heel, and ignored us. So that's into a conflict amongst the heretics. <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Whenever a group of people get together, there's the inevitable fracturing off into different factions and subsequent infightings. It's human nature. We are descended from humans, after all. Anyway, we have a score to sell with the offsprings. To that end, we could use your help. What information do you need? Oh, right. What was that we need to know, Levy? Ah, I knew we were doing so well. You've fought with the offsprings before, haven't you? What were they like? They possess human strength. That goes without saying. You should know by now that's not what I'm curious about. How did you win? Never mind, you'd probably use Vapaus and one easily. When you use Vapaus, how did they react to it? The room seemed bright than before, and the stinging in my eyes is getting worse. I put them in excruciating it put them in excruciating pain, and the original capability is drastically decreased. And their core? Was it exposed? No. Then how did you win? They escaped before we could finish them off. Escaped? You mean they ran away? Yes. <laughs> Incredible! They've always acting so high and mighty. And yet they ran off the, with the tails tucked between the legs. How embarrassing! One hit from Vapas caused them to retreat. And the power the stuff has is almost unfathomable. It seems the four beasts are not too keen on the other heretics. If I can somehow manipulate these two factions into clashing, it would be beneficial for me and everyone else. I'll add a few embellishments to provoke these two further. Nihilist individual and Shadowbox once formed an alliance. 
an alliance? The offsprings? They think they're so much better than everyone else, and you're telling me they form an alliance. Yes, but it didn't do them any good. They still lost. To who? You guys? Nope. They lost to one of my comrades. Huh? What? Remember the one whose hair turned red? That's Rappi, and she alone overpowered all three of them. They scurried off because they knew they couldn't win. We didn't even have to use Vapaos. Granted, she had activated Red Hood, which she can only use for so long, but these two don't have to know that. Isn't that the one who was fixated on my pincers? Right, she became much stronger after her hair color changed. So she was able to chase off all three of them. The sting in my eyes is almost unbearable by now. You see, Levi? We're strong just as we are. We could fight them right now and end up winning. You're right. If we're assuming everything this man is telling you is true. I have a disease where I die if I lie. <laughs> very funny. Let's see. Since you don't have a nymph, we can't verify anything right now. We'll have to capture one of your comrades and check that way. There's something I can't get off my mind. You seem to know a lot about nymph and vapors. That I do. Uh, are you interested in human technology? I am. That's why we're here. We're interested in all the technology humans left behind when you slither down the ground like spineless slugs. Getting back on top. I'm pretty sure slugs don't have spines. <laughs> Getting back on topic. You've given us a lot of good information. All we need to do now is capture one of your comrades and make sure that you're telling us the truth. Then we'll extract as much blood from you as we can. And vengeance against the offspring will be ours. We could beat them in a straight fight. We don't need the vapors. We haven't confirmed whether these humans were the true or not. If we're able to secure ourselves on vapors, that will give us an irrefutable advantage. There's no such thing as being too prepared. Don't tell me you're planning on biding your time again. Haven't we waited long enough? On the contrary, we've waited this long. Surely we can endure waiting a while longer. Hmm, I guess that's true. Not then, even though you rubs me the wrong way, we'll keep this human alive as a hostage. Now, hmm? Huh? What are you doing? Dancing. What in the world for? Ah, I see. The Guardian of the Galaxy Technique. Classic Gambit. So I can give them the, so I can give them the signal. Uh -huh. Huh? Levy, Levy, move! Kaboom! A massive blue and white light beam engulfs Behemoth and Leviathan, shielding my face with my hands to block out the flying debris and searing heat. I attempt to glance in the direction the beam came from. There, floating in the air with her glass slippers pointed forward, is Cinderella. Jesus. So why was our eyes stinging? I assume we were just trying to keep our eyes open the entire time, but I don't know why. Tainja, no! Let's go! Oh wait, there's more! There it is. Where's the bus? Where's the bus? Got him. Got him, 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 got him. I need to say, I, I gotta know what happens next. I, I just gotta. I'm so in, I'm so into this shit. I was gonna say enthused, but I was like, maybe, I don't know. For some reason, I decided not to use enthused. I was gonna say, I'm so enthused. I was like, am I really so enthused? But I am. But I was like, maybe I should just say excited. I was worried people would think I'm pompous. <laughs> oh my god, Katie's so pompous. She keeps saying words like enthused and indubitably. What is wrong with her? I was just like, no, oh, please, I swear, I'm not trying to be pompous. I look full of myself, I swear. I just talk weird. Let's go! Yeah, 
Got him. Got him. We're so close to the end of the chapter. I want the the the, the last chapter today. I'll do it another day for sure. But um, you know, gotta keep the suspense. I've almost been playing Nikkei for four hours as well, so I'll be taking a break. You get it. Alright. We're getting through the small corridor full of Adam Ayers. Nothing. Mm. Alright, next beat of stories here. Also, I'm still missing two shiny beaties. There's one there and one here. Okay, everything's there. Next part of the story. I fight then story. Those bulls sucks, dude. What the fuck? Gotta retry. Man, those bull just destroy my ass. And not in a good way, sir. No sorry. No sorry. Maybe I'll go the other way around. I'll use Red Hood first. Yeah, there we go. That fucks them real quick. Fuck you, bull. Nobody likes you. And you should feel bad. Okay, there we go. That was much better. No, not more bulls! Victory! Levy, hurrying it back into the Black Sea. A black pearl forms as Leviathan's feet, and she begins to descend. That's as she is halfway through. A light beam slams into Leviathan, and she is flung out from the pearl and set to hurling across the ground. Behelbin glares furiously at Cinderella from afar. Anakiro, you stay right there. Behemoth crouches low, and as, she, and as she prepares to leap, the ground cracks underneath her. She'll be able to reach Cinderella in a single bound. The light is still gathering in Cinderella's glass sleeper. She'll need more time before she can fire off another shot. Don't move! Huh? I raise my hand so that the cut from earlier faces upward. I stand directly above the temporary incapacitated Leviathan. The cut is still bleeding and blood pools up in the incision. Make one move and I cover her in blood. You! All I have to do is turn my hand around. I don't care how, much fa how fast you are, you won't be able to get here in time. You son of a... Using her as a hostage, are you? Have you no shame? You were about to use me as a hostage! You don't want to talk up to whisking me off here secretly? This is a whole other level of cowardly. 
Behemoth is hit with an overpowering light beam. She falls to her knees. At the same time, a relentless barrage of bullets and missiles fly from beyond the buildings, bombarding Behemoth. What is this? Everyone's here. Commander. Blow away, Rappy. Roger that. Ooh, Rappy charges forward like a heat-seeking missile. She leaps into the air and spins, delivering a knockout kick to Behemoth's jaw. Behemoth is sent hurling across the ground. I quickly move to join the approaching group. Commander, are you okay? Of course. I knew you'd be okay. You're practically superhuman at this point. No, no, you see why I call him that. Cinderella lands gracefully beside us. That was a beautiful dance you did, Prince. Now you're laying it a bit thick. Come on, let's keep it going. Let's finish them off. Right, let's advance. Before I can even finish the order, Rappi is charging forward. She proceeds to unleash her hail of bullets at Behemoth, who is still reeling from the previous kick. Rappi, don't move alone. I've got this under control. Why is she acting like this? Rappi, stick together! Behemoth. Ah, she's really coming at me full force. Just a moment, I'll take care of these chumps. <laughs> acting tough even now. Leave it to me. We've got to keep going, Dan. Rappi suddenly screeches to a halt. All, over around, all around us there is a strange vibration. What is that? Is it just me, or did it suddenly get darker? Looking around I can see Neon is right. It is darker around us. From my peripheral vision I can vaguely make out a darkened wall. It, I turn my head, only to see a gigantic black wall surging towards us. Is this some kind of tidal wave? I, I think so. Everyone, grab onto whatever you can. Hold tight. It's a surreal sight. A towering 20 meters wave of black water is heading straight towards us. As for the wheats, I can't even tell where it ends or begins. You've got to get out of here! How? Cinderella, grab us and fly! I won't be able to get high enough while carrying everyone. There's no escaping it, just find something to hold onto and hold on tight. Damn it! Hey, why are you grabbing me? I've got to hold on to something, don't ya? Don't I? I don't count. I'm a firepower master. That's precisely what I want to hold on to. <laughs> All right then, hold on tight. Rappy. Oh, dirty trick. Rappy fires at Leviathan, but Behemoth blocks the way, blocking the bullet from reaching her. Damn. Rappy. The black wave gets closer and closer. I spin towards Rappy, then throw myself at her, embracing her. After we hit the ground, I roll to the side and drag her behind a pillar. Commander, I... Success is hard to hold on to, true. We talk later, take cover. Everything gets even darker. The vibrations grow more intense and the noise become deafening. I hold tightly onto both Rappi and the pillar, bracing for the incoming wave. Damn. It's getting tense, man! Encanta. Sensei. Fuck him up. Thank you for the raid, welcome! I hope you had a great stream! There we go! Spellcasting raid, indubitably! Hello again, hello again! What were you playing? Speed Pharaoh! Ooh! How you like this? Oh, I actually noticed earlier that you were playing that on my um, Twitch list. All right, the last fight of the of the chapter it was fun. It's a gorgeous game. Yeah, um, I, I saw it a while ago. I I don't know. I didn't feel like playing it, but it seemed fun or at least interesting. My entire body feels like it's been through a blender. I use all my winning strength to stand up. I look around. And the black wave is gone. 
In this place, I see something that makes my me doubt my vision. Several rippling black spheres float in the air. They appear to be made of Leviathan's black water. <sighs> this vaporous is real thorn in my side. Not even that was enough to do the job. Don't talk, you overdid it. I was about, about to be killed. Pushing myself was the only option. Where did everyone go? Can't you tell? They're inside the Black Sea. You mean those spheres? That's right. They're all inside, slowly being crushed by the liquid metal. As a little bonus for myself, I'm parsing through the information contained in the nymphs. I still have to confirm if all that you told me was true. You're able to do that. How do you think we made it this far? We scrapped together every last morsel of information we could get our hands on. The humans raised skills, knowledge, everything. In a way, you could say we've inherited your human legacy. And I suppose I should be thankful. <laughs> if you want to show thanks, why don't you pony up some credits? <laughs> Maybe I'll think about it. Behemoth. On it. Behemoth pinches slams me into the ground, crushing me. Damn. It's what was getting, but be prepared for the emotional roller coaster where it gets going. I've damn, okay. Not however to the point where it's deadly, she's clearly holding back. I could see you clenching your face, trying to draw out some blood. You're also leaning toward the Black Sea. You fool me enough times, so be a good boy and stay right where you are. I'll let you go after I've extracted everything I want from the others. Looks to me like you're scared. I won't deny it. But there's nothing wrong with being cautious, is there? It's our prudence which has kept us alive until now. Would you like to hear something interesting? Go on. One of those people trapped in there is what you fear the most. The first heretic. He's right! A blue light beam shoots out from the black sphere. More follow, firing wildly in all directions. The black sphere soon shatters, dissipating like a bubble has been burst. Cinderella emerges from the sphere and lands gracefully on the ground. Am I the only one who made it? So what? Will you return my prince to me? Never. Hand him over. And I will spare your life. <laughs> oh god. You may be extraordinary or great one, but it's clear that you're bluffing. We already know that you can't beat us. Why would you call her that? She's obsolete. Do you know? I was created for the sole purpose of extermination. I can't show you my true power if there are any bystanders around. Right now, all I need to worry about is my prince. Everyone else is safely trapped inside the sturdy bubble you made. I said bluffing won't work, you outdated piece of garbage. Glass sleepers, full contact, annihilate. Uh oh. Okay, bus fight. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a crystal armor. Okay, fair enough. Let's deal with this. Hopefully I can clear it. But if I get cock blocked here in terms of story because I can't beat the boss, I'm gonna cry. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, we'll be fine. 100%. We didn't get get I'm actually sad if she's gonna kill one of them. I actually don't really want them to die. I kinda like them. I think they're cool. The 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 beasts, the four beasts. Incalculable numbers of beams come pouring out of Cinderella's glass sleepers. The entire area is bathed in blinding light. So much so that I have to close my eyes. So dense are the beams that from a distance it most likely resembles a single luminescent mass. I can't move. The light scorches the end of my hair and brushes against the edge of my clothes as it passes. I'm too scared to even breathe. Although I can't see anything amidst the blinding light, nor can I move, I can clearly hear the voice of Behemoth and Leviathan. What is this? <laughs> Levi, get behind me! Behemoth! Save me! You bastard! There we go. I knew I'd draw you out eventually. All the light focuses on Behemoth as she charges. 
The sound of the relentless barrage firing from glass sleepers overlap, creating a strange noise. The light begins to fade. The Viton lies on the ground in a heap. As for Behemoth, she has turned into something barely identifiable as human. Behemoth! Impressive, you're still alive. Get up! You're not going anywhere for a while. Perhaps ever again. Mark my words. I'll kill you. I don't think so. Leviathan is swallowed up, swallowed up by the light and falls silent. Cinderella approaches and removes the remnant of Behemoth's pincer that is still on top of me. Prince, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That's a relief. Are you okay? <laughs> I may have pushed myself a bit too hard. I can feel my energy levels dropping. Pumpkin pie, let's go! Don't worry, as long as I get some rest, I should recover quickly enough. Halle Halloween, y'all! True, you too! Cinderella fires another beam of light at the remaining black spheres. Like bubbles bursting, they shatter, and Rappi, Anis, Neon, and Grave all tumble to the ground. <laughs> I nearly died back there! Are you okay, Cinderella? Of course, don't worry. How about you, Commander? I'm alright, is everyone okay? For now, yeah. Did did you do all this, Cinderella? They've all been burnt to a crisp. The seemingly dead Leviathan suddenly springs up and lunges at Behemoth. Cinderella fires yet another light beam, slicing Leviathan in two. With a splat, one half falls on Cinderella's foot while the others land near Behemoth. Hmm, I figured this might happen. Grave rushes towards Cinderella. Just as she grabs her, they both disappear. Along with this, the bisected half of the Viton that landed on Cinderella's foot. Only a black puddle remains. No, this can't be happening! I look toward where Behemoth was. She's slowly rising up. That hurts! I nearly beat the dust back there! Half was used to move Cinderella and the other half was handed over to Behemoth. We have to take her out before she resurrects! Yeah! Ugh, you all get on my nerves. A mass of crystals completely surrounds me. I'm completely immobile. Behemoth charges. She blocks all incoming bullets and throws Anis against the wall. She takes Neons and hurls her toward Anis, and extends her claws toward Rappi. Rappi dodges a strike. What? No longer on the offensive, are you? I know why you're avoiding me. You're scared. Shut up! It doesn't matter what you do. Inside, you've already lost. I said shut up! Behemoth swings her pincers out once more, hitting Rappi in the midsection and sending her flying. She slams into a nearby wall and slumps to the ground motionless. <sighs> I really do feel like I'm at the end of my tether. I have no strength left. Time to wrap yourself so I can get some rest. I wonder if I've even got the strength to finish this. Huh? A red glowing dot appears on Behemoth's stomach. What is this, a laser sight? Behemoth staggers backwards. Another red glowing dot appears on the forehead. Behemoth's head tilts back as she collapses. She attempts to get up, convulsing, convulsing violently. What is this? Where is it coming from? Hmm? A series of explosions erupts out of Behemoth's abdomen and head. She writhes on the ground in excruciating pain. Explode from the inside! A swarm of missiles heads toward her. Not this again! Crystals shoot up in front of Behemoth, forming a protective barrier meant to block the missiles. However, the crystal almost immediately go dark and shatter. What the? The swarm of missiles slam directly into Behemoth. It's hot. Is that an apple? Damn it, show yourselves! Ooh, another red dot appears on Behemoth's abdomen inside. Again, from inside. She's getting wrecked, dude! Damn! Behemoth leaps into the distance, disappearing from sight. What was that? It's silent. You could hear a pin drop. That has to be absolute, right? Some time passes, and the crystals I'm encasing crumbles and disappears. I can hear footsteps more than just one person. In distance, beyond the smoke, I can make out the silhouette of three people. Soon the shape becomes more clear. What are you staring at, weakling? Uwa! Looking good! We're back. <laughs> just in the nick of time, by the looks of it. Absolute. Yes, reporting for duty. Let the hunt begin. Damn! Okay!
in their returns. I still wouldn't want them to die though, I will say. All right, we got that. Another song. I'm gonna open this up. And there is the last little sparkly thingy over here. And there we go. It we decided to get revenge. All four of us gathered in the grid to give the offspring what for. None of us had to say anything. I could see the fire in their eyes. Looking back at the scoundrels, we'll take away all that they hold dear. I feel like I can finally sleep. Having a goal is a wondrous thing. Damn. There we go. So next is gonna be clearing more of the story. Um, we'll be doing the next chapter next time. Yeah, I'm not gonna jump into it right now. I've played over four hours of Nikkei. It was really fun though, I will say. Very, very excited to see Grave coming out whenever she does, which is gonna be a week from now, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna be waiting for that. As for the next chapter, I will most likely play it uh, in the upcoming days for sure. Um, so yeah, very cool. I hope you enjoyed this part. I'll probably make it this a, a YouTube video and post it. Some people like seeing the playthrough. So I will do that. Um, as for now, I think I'll be jumping on brown dust, probably. I'm feeling a bit lazy about brown dust. I'm a bit tired. Am I tired? I'm not tired. Am I tired? Nah, I'm good. So what I want to do... Yeah, there, there was the big update for brown dust. So let me, uh, let me log in. Alright, that's gonna be it for Nikkei. Man, this was fun. I cannot wait for All Tales 2. I'll probably actually, 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 now I think about it, I'll probably stream Nikkei tomorrow because I gotta play more of the All Tales, right? Um, so let's...